Hello everyone, this is Bharat Manoj, Senior Program Manager, Microsoft. We are very excited to announce Microsoft List app for iOS. Using the List app, you can access Microsoft List anytime, anywhere, on the go. Come, let's check out the app. Home screen of the app has Favorites, Recents, and My List sections. All the lists that you have accessed across SharePoint sites and multiple endpoints such as web or mobile will automatically show up for you in the recent section of the app. You can pick one of those lists and mark it as favorites, like this. All your personal lists will reside at my list section. Now let's check out how data is shown on the list mobile app. Consuming content on the list app is effortless. This is because the first cell of each list item is made available as the title of the item as you start scrolling horizontally. Being in context at any scroll position gives you enough confidence to consume or edit any cell's data without being worried about which item it belongs to. List app is edit ready canvas, which means you simply have to tap on the cell you wish to edit, make the change and commit. That's all. It's that simple. Various data types has their own dedicated edit controls carefully designed for a mobile first experience. Hence, editing on the list app is super simple. Let me show you some examples. This is choice edit control. This is people edit control. The beauty of the Microsoft list app is that your entire address book of the enterprise is made available out of the box. This is your date picker. Number edit control. S snow toggle. Location control. You can skim through the data by scrolling horizontally or vertically. At any scroll position, if you wish to focus on a particular list item, you simply have to tap on the title of the item to open the data in a full blown item form. And yes, you can also edit on this form. You can add new data to the list by tapping on the plus icon at the bottom, fill the form, and commit. That's it. Now let's see how you can organize data on the list app. You can sort, filter and group data on the list app. Simply tap on the sort icon, pick the column you wish to sort on and pick the sort order. Now at any scroll position, you can also tap on the column title to sort or filter or group by like this. You can also get rid of these sorts of filters by simply resetting them. Now let's add new columns to the list. Simply tap on the add column and choose among the various column options. Okay, all these are good, but how will data look in dark mode? As you can see, your data looks gorgeous even in dark mode. We do understand that you might use this app on the go which means you might have flaky or even no network at times. So we've made sure that the app is functional even in the no network situation. You can consume data or even organize data by using sort, filter or group even in the offline mode. Isn't this amazing? Okay, now let me get back to the network to show you how to create new list within the app. Simply tap on the plus icon at the bottom. You can choose to create a blank list or pick from various template options. You can explore the template how it's going to look like. And if you like it, use this template. Rename if needed. Pick a color and an icon and tap on create. That's it. So let's take a quick recap of what we have seen. We have designed Microsoft List app so carefully that your experience on the app will be fast and fluid. Its mobile first design lets you experience, consume and edit data so fluidly on the app. Microsoft List app has value packed with the web in terms of core functionalities, which include accessing list from the list home, creating new list, viewing data in a mobile friendly manner, editing list and much more. Follow the link to reels to yourself to experience the app 
and give your feedback. Looking forward to working with you to make the Melissa app best in class. Thank you.